Thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring. More on them later. I'm sharing four winter recipes you'll want on repeat today on The Daily Connoisseur. Jennifer here and welcome back. I love sharing recipes. Eating well is a big passion of mine and such a big part of being a daily connoisseur. You are going to love today's recipes. They're easy and practical yet so delicious. Today we're making creamy parmesan cod, avocado soft boiled egg toast for breakfast, skillet tamale pie, and pistachio rose hip latte. And yes, you heard that correctly. <laughs> it's so delicious. Let's get started with the creamy Parmesan cod. Start by prepping your cod. I'm placing it on a roasting pan that's covered with aluminum foil and that's been sprayed. And then I top that with olive oil, salt, and pepper. You're going to place the cod about six inches under the broiler and let it roast for around eight minutes. Meanwhile, let's prepare the sauce. I'm combining Parmesan cheese, mayonnaise, lemon juice, dried parsley, or dill would work too, salt and pepper, and mixing this all together. Capers are also a good addition to this. I added those at the last minute. Once the cod has broiled for 8 minutes, bring it out and add the sauce on top. Spread it all over. You're going to roast this for another 2 to 3 minutes or until golden brown, but don't forget about it <laughs> because it will burn. And that is it. This is seriously so easy and so delicious. The Parmesan cheese combined with the acid of the lemon juice and the creamy mayo is a winning combination. Serve this with rice and veggies and you have not only an affordable but elegant meal. Here's a breakfast idea that will keep you satisfied on a cold winter's morning. Avocado toast with soft boiled egg. The combination of everything I use here is simple and basic, but it's just so delicious. I start by toasting two pieces of honey oat sourdough toast, and then I spread a ripened avocado on that. Then on top, here's the secret flavor, it's everything bagel seasoning. You can use a ready-made seasoning or make it yourself with dried onion, roasted garlic, sesame, and poppy seeds, but this combination is so good. So I sprinkle that on top of the avocado. Then I place two sliced soft-boiled eggs on top of that for some added protein. Here's how I cook my soft-boiled eggs. I bring the water to boiling and then put the eggs in and take them out at exactly the seven minute mark. You can do six minutes if you want the yolks more runny. So I place the eggs on top and I put a little salt and pepper and I enjoy this for breakfast. It's so basic, but just a rustic, hearty and filling breakfast that tastes so good in the winter time. I'm going to take a minute to tell you now about Thrive Market who have kindly sponsored today's video. This time of year especially can be so hectic and it's hard to get to the grocery store. So make Thrive Market your go-to for convenient and affordable grocery shopping. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store with guaranteed savings on every order. I love the variety of health food choices they have. In fact, if you live far away from a health food store, Thrive Market is perfect for you. Their membership options are month to month, $12 a month, or annual, $5 a month, billed at $59.95. 
You'll make your annual $60 membership back in savings, and if you don't, Thrive Market will credit you the difference. I love that you can filter the selections based on your lifestyle choices, and each order shows how much you saved. I saved over $12 on this order. Here's what I ordered in my most recent Thrive Market box. Extra virgin olive oil, avocado oil, English breakfast tea for Ben, pistachio milk, and I'm going to show you a great recipe for this in a moment, so stay tuned, and Thrive Market organic honey. Their products are always so high quality, I love them. So click my link in the description or go to thrivemarket.com forward slash the daily connoisseur to get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60. Okay, so let's make that pistachio rose hip latte. This is kind of like a delicate moon milk recipe. It's outstanding. My daughters and I have loved drinking this this winter season. Begin by taking pistachio milk, add some honey if you desire sweetness, and whisk this together until it is heated up. Then you can add your tea. I'm using an organic rosehip and hibiscus tea here, but you could use whatever kind you desire. You could use loose leaf or tea bags, it doesn't matter. If you do use loose leaf, you'll need to strain it. I let the tea steep for a few minutes in a warmed up teapot with a tea cozy on it, and then serve. I cannot tell you how delicious this combination is. You absolutely must try it. If you want a more diluted version, you can brew a pot of rosehip tea and use pistachio milk to cream it. But there's something that's so delicious and aromatic about the thickness of the pistachio milk that is flavored with the rosehip and hibiscus tea. It's divine. And finally, I'm going to share a skillet tamale pie. This is a stick to your ribs kind of winter recipe that everyone will love. Begin by sauteing onion and garlic in oil in an oven proof pan like this cast iron skillet. Then add your ground beef. If you're vegan or vegetarian, you can use a meat substitute or maybe beans. Once the meat is browned and drained, I return it to the pan and add sliced olives, one large chopped tomato, chopped cilantro, and taco seasoning. You can also add cooked black or pinto beans at this point, but I forgot. Then add some tomato paste and a bit of water to thin out the filling, and allow this to cook on low. Meanwhile, it's time to make the cornbread batter. You can follow your own family recipe from scratch or make cornbread batter from a mix. I'm just following the directions on this particular cornbread mix by combining eggs, milk, and oil with the cornbread mixture. Mix that all together. Then on top of the meat mixture, I'm adding a cup of shredded cheddar cheese and more cilantro with a bit of salt and pepper. Then I pour the cornbread batter on top and bake this in the oven at 350 degrees until the cornbread is fully cooked. For me, that was about 35 minutes. This is delicious, served with avocado and cilantro. It's a one pot meal that is so tasty and with not too many dishes to clean up at the end of the night. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you got some great meal inspiration from it. Thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring. Click my link in the description or go to thrivemarket.com forward slash the daily connoisseur to get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60. Thank you for watching today, everyone. Keep calm and remain classy, and I will see you in my next video. Love, Jennifer.